Good morning, everyone. Pontificator here again. Thought you guys might need to know this or might enjoy knowing this. I apologize for the light this morning. I'm on my way to work. Um, RPM towing operating out of Gastonia, North Carolina on a vacant lot at 14 or 1545 Rankin Lake Road. He's been a little bit upset with me because I offered to come down there and help him do his job of keeping people from parking there. I received a letter from his attorney yesterday um, threatening me, you know, telling me that I would be, um, you know, sued for, uh, I forget what it was, interfering with a business, and unfair business trade practices, a uh, bunch of other gobble to you. But the thing that I thought was funny, at least in my response to him, was your client is not running a business. He's running a scam. There is a vacant lot there two entrances. He has signs up all over the place that say no parking here. By the way, the property is owned by Kenneth Schuler, a guy that owns a ton of cosmetology schools down in the Carolinas. I don't believe that the Schulers know what is going on on their property. At least I don't believe that they did, but they certainly do now because I informed them. So they have this vacant lot up there that they've either rented to this guy, leased to him, or somehow in another mechanism or manner permitted him to use. I don't think they're benefiting from it. I don't think they I don't think they need the money. They're not I don't think they're a part of this. But I could be wrong. <laughs> but what we have here is we've got a vacant lot that could easily be blocked off so that trucks don't park there. I offered to come down. I told this guy I said here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna drive down there to North Carolina and I'm gonna stop trucks from parking there. And he gets all pissed off. You do that, you'll be interfering with a business. I said, well, I'm glad you admitted that because it's not a business. Luring people to park somewhere where you don't want them to park, putting a boot on their truck and their trailer and charging $1,600 to get that boot removed, that's not a business. You're not providing a service or a good. You're a pirate, modern day pirate. It's a scam and trust me, man, I'm not going to let this one go. It, it's almost like um, that Disney movie, uh, The Incredibles. Oh, this is too good. Um, so, again, you, you're, you're operating a scam down there, guys. If you go down to Gastonia, North Carolina, uh, make sure that you, you know, anywhere you go, watch where you park. These towing pirates are getting out of control everywhere across the country. Uh, Westchester, Ohio, Walmart. They are extreme. They're tagging trucks in there almost every night. They wait for you to park. They hide in the corner, and then they pounce on the trucks after the driver's asleep. Okay? They hook up to it. They charge you money. If you guys Google predatory towing and trucking and booting, you'll find some of the news stories. These towing companies are no longer towing cars. They have found a new niche, and, and not all tow companies are like this, guys. Okay? I want to make that very clear. Most of the tow companies and tow trucks out there are ethical, good people that are in the business of towing cars. A lot of what you're starting to see now, though, unfortunately, because this is all you hear about, you don't hear about the good ethical people, a lot of what you're starting to see now are this new age of tow companies. These guys don't want to be in the towing business. They want to be in the, um, what they call, parking enforcement business because it's easy prey. You don't have to sit and wait for somebody to have an accident. You just go to these people and you say, hey guys, uh, we're parking enforcement. Let us run in your lot and then your life will be good. Uh, the law is powerless to stop this, but I've got a few ideas that I hope that they'll look at. Um, so you guys be cautious, be aware, watch where you park. Don't feed these sharks, okay? Like I said, I've called them pirates because that's what they are. They're modern day pirates. They don't have legitimate businesses. Towing companies buy tow trucks because they want to get in the towing, wrecking, and recovery business. These guys buy tow trucks because they want to get in the parking enforcement business and make $300, $600, $900 for backing their truck up to your semi and demanding money. It's not right. So you guys be cautious what you're doing. Look for my next video. Get yourself informed on this predatory towing that's going on and sweeping the country here because you might be their next victim. If you are, give me a call. You guys have a great day.